Hi, this video is about how to do an SEO audit fast in 2019 um, and probably well beyond that. Uh, the whole point of this is to really figure out what Google thinks about your website and or your competitors' websites uh, very fast. Uh, and, uh, and part of that is understanding what's important. There's a ton of little things out there that don't really matter that much from, from an SEO standpoint. And so focusing on those are going to be uh, a waste of your time essentially. Hi, my name is David Hood and I have made well over a million dollars online with SEO and I'm on a mission to help 10,000 people make their first million online. So first of all, I have a script that, that helps me. Um, AHK stands for auto hotkey. And um, I will kind of I will show you how it works uh, here in a second. Uh, but uh, let's actually uh, I'm going to pull up. So I did a search for Dallas Foundation Repair. Uh, Dallas has some of the worst foundation repair uh, in the country. Let's actually let's check out. Um, let's find a, 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 a local competitor that's on the first page. And then let's go to like the first guy on the on the third page. And like foundationrepairs.com. It's not, not, not something I really want to look into. Okay. So let's say I'm looking up them. I'm going to uh, copy their domain name. And I'm actually going to do, a, I have some quick keys here. And I'm going to remove this right here. And I'm going to enter. And it's going to, it's going to load up the different tools that I always want to look at. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do uh, is do a rankings check. So first of all, I'm going to use uh, scmrush.com. You can see it in the background already because uh, it's loaded it up for that one company. Uh, first of all, this is an imperfect tool. Uh, it, it tends to get uh, the high volume stuff uh, pretty well. Um, actually, also in the Maps SEO, it does not do uh, so well. With, but there's really not a good tool out there. there well, there there are different levels of bad for tracking Maps SEO. Some are better than others, but uh, the way that Google ranks Maps right now, it's just it's so it's it's so device and location dependent that uh, you, you can't get just like one answer for where do you rank in the maps as opposed to with the regular organic you can get much more of a, 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 a real answer at the same time um, it does a really poor job of measuring low volume searches um, it's a lot better at estimating high volume searches so if you're in a, a market with like a lot of a lot of low volume searches then it's not going to be as good it's actually also hold this up for another another website okay so let's, let's check out the hot high one it's it's saying some SEMRS is saying and and uh, with the local it doesn't i think this is actually kind of low um it's saying that they're getting 5400 visitor 54 visitors per month at a cost if they were to bid on it with pay-per-click of about uh, 1200 dollars which i uh, i think the traffic is going to be worth substantially more and i also suspect that they're getting substantially more um it, it depends on a lot of different factors uh, Foundation Repair Dallas, because it's also showing that they're 10th um, in, what did I search, Dallas Foundation Repair, let's go back to the first page, and they were actually higher than that. And also, Foundation Repair, let's, go, let's actually go to their website, because it's going to be one of the things that we're going to do any, want to do anyways. FCS Foundation Repair Services. Let's see, are they in the maps? Okay, so they're not in the maps. And part of this is I'm actually north of Dallas. I'm gonna show you how you could search like in downtown Dallas uh, in a second. But we do wanna focus on the maps, but that's, uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, on page SEO, uh, that's also a critical factor. So uh, mainly what we're gonna want to look at is like the domain name, the titles, the URLs, how the pages are interlinked, which for local smaller sites matters, doesn't matter as much. And then sort of the H1 to the H3 tax on it. The content doesn't matter nearly as much from a purely SEO standpoint. It matters more from a copy standpoint. You want to make sure that it engages the visitors and can actually um, and act, can actually turn them into customers, which Google can see to a certain degree. I usually just do this by going to the site. And I don't, there's a lot of like site crawlers out there, but I find them to be, you know, to not really save me any time. And I have to end up going to the site anyways. Uh, a few that I've used in the past, like Screaming Frog, that one's okay. I, I think that's probably the one that I would use, but it's been a while since I've used it because it just ended up, it, it didn't end up really saving me any time, uh, especially for local businesses. Uh, they don't have a ton of pages and seeing how it actually lays out is going to be important. 
I'm gonna look at the title of the page, uh, which you run the mouse over the tab. It's gonna show you uh, the, um, it's, it's gonna show you the, uh, the title of the homepage. And you can also hit Control U and search for title. So this is the title of the page, Foundation Repair Dolls. That's actually the search I made. So there's a reason why uh, the homepage title makes a lot, the title of your pages makes a lot of difference. So I'm gonna look at this and I want to see, you know, what what they're doing uh, right. Let's actually check out the also the the company. Their title looks like they they kind of have a, they have Foundation Repair Dallas in there as well, but it's not right at the beginning, so that's not going to be like the major major factor. Um, and part of the problem with the site crawlers is you get too much data. Um, and, and it, it just kind of adds to the time that you need to go through things when a lot of times you're just looking at like, you only really need to look at like one to five pages to get an idea. Now, if you're looking at much bigger sites, then the site crawlers are going to become more useful. Um, one thing that I will do is let's go to, uh, site. we will look at, to see how many pages they have so that they have, um, not, they only have 10 pages indexed in Google. It's not completely accurate. Again, the, the bigger the site, uh, the less like the less accurate it is. So 283 results. If you actually click on 10, I bet it's less than. Oh. 223 results, uh, but it gives you an idea. So they have quite a bit more pages here. And you would be able to tell that from like a crawler or just by doing cycle. And I'm not, I wouldn't want to look at all these pages anyways. Um, and and it, 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 I'm not saying a crawlers are bad. I just don't end up using it. It's not a critical factor for me, uh, unless the site is big, in which case I'm probably still going to look at just kind of like the, at a high level what's going on. <clears throat> okay. Again, we're trying to do this quickly just to get like an initial idea off page SEO. So our main, this is our main competition metric and we're going to use linking root domains. So Ahrefs is going to be the place we're going to start. So this guy who's ranking here is 58 referring domains. I don't know why this is live. So, so this means that maybe he, that he's lost some links. You can see here, I really like this graph right here. Um, if somebody has been spammed, you, you can see like a spike in this graph, which is very useful. Um, and typically I'm just going to do just like an initial starting point. I'm going to, I'm going to take this number at face value, but know that to really understand you have to go deeper and you have to look at the kind of the quality of the links and each kind of at each link individually if you want to look a little deeper um, at, at each link individually i would go here and i would look for like how relevant the links are um and also you know you've got a lot of these soup.io's which is kind of weird um it's possible that um they that, that those links aren't counting for or against them very much Maybe it's possible that someone spammed them. Um, so you come in here and you could see, you know, how real do the links look? Especially if there's only 58 links, you can probably look for that pretty quickly. Um, I'm also going to look at Majestic. So if you don't know what Majestic does, uh, we're going to look at these two main metrics, trust flow and citation flow. Basically, you want the trust flow to be at least half the citation flow. And ideally, I, th I like it to be like 75% or more. Um, if this is like, sometimes somebody comes to you and this is like 30 and this is like five. Um, in that case, that's an indicator of low quality links. So that's something that you would want to, to look at. Also, you can look at the topical trust flow, which is not perfect. It, it's oftentimes incorrect, but at the same time, you want this to kind of line up with who they're wanting to target. And if it's got a lot of weird stuff, um, you kind of have to look a little deeper, but it's an indication that maybe your links are not quite as relevant as you'd want. Let's take a look at this other company. So they actually have right on the same amount of links. So maybe their links are lower quality um, or there's some other things going on now. These, well, Ahrefs is the best tool I've found for links. It's not perfect. So, you know, it, it is possible it can mix links. Okay. So here, here's maybe part of it. The, the, I'm guessing that the, the quality of the links are going to be much lower because you have zero trust flow here. Um, so that that's uh, an indicator of low quality links for sure. Um, and then we're going to look at maps SEO. So let's go back to our example. And I'm actually going to go, let's go here. So we want to search, I'm going to use isearchfrom.com for the United States, English, and we're going to do Dallas. You could actually just do foundation repair. Um, we want to see if, uh, what was the name of the company? 
FCS Foundation Repair Services. So it's interesting that they're not ranking. So they're actually one of the first. So we, so we got Olshan. Okay, they're in the maps. So where you rank in the maps is correlated to a certain degree with where you rank in the organic. So if you rank high up in the organic like this company does, and you're not in the maps, and there's probably something wrong with how you have your maps set up, either in your maps listing or on your site or some other uh, off your site as well. There's a whole bunch of different places. I mean, obviously we're not gonna like, BBB is not in there. Well, of course they're not gonna be in there. Pure King. So I don't see Pure King in there. Uh, let's see if our, our guys are there. Let's see. So this is actually more of a, looks like they're, they have a, more of a bigger company. They still are in the Maps Foundation Repair Concrete. I believe that's our company. I think this is them. It's not gonna let me do that. I have to go Foundation Repair. Uh, it's not gonna let me uh, go into there. 7024. 7024. It's not even showing up in there. Uh, I think that that is them. It's hard to tell because when I run the mouse over the website, it doesn't show me. But Foundation Repair Solutions, um, I believe that was uh, Foundation Repair Services. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so you wanna you wanna be able to see where they rank on the maps. And if they're really far behind their, their regular organic, then that means that there's some major maps issues. So I know this has taken me, I don't know, I guess we're at 12 minutes now, but obviously I've been had to explain things. And so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to kind of start a clock now. Let's go back and let's find, what was it, pureking.com? Pureking.com. Let's check them out. So, we can look real quick. Uh, so they're getting some traffic. They rank according to this. Again, these this tool is not perfect, but they have quite a bit of opportunities here. So I really like like second page rankings or low first page because there's, there can be a massive difference in traffic when you go up there, when you go up in the search results. Only 19 referring domains. So uh, the fact that they're high on the first page is an indicator uh, for, you know, actually it was just this one search phrase is actually their I searched their best search phrase. So they're actually ranking quite a bit worse than that. Um, and so there's probably some opportunities. This is probably pretty accurate for their links. Um, and this is also probably pretty accurate for their links. Two to eight. It's, it's not like going to kill them. Um, let, let's, uh, let's actually go to their website. And, oh boy, it looks old. But let's go to the title. Foundation Repair Dallas, Foundation Repair Company, Pure King Foundation Repair. Okay, so they have, um, that's kind of bad. It's it, Foundation Repair in there three times, it's, it's a bit too much. Um, I would not uh, recommend that. Let's see if they've got a king. Hmm, they're not in the maps at all. Uh, and that is definitely a problem. They should definitely be in the maps to see it if uh, in here when I search. Yeah, so they have some maps issues for sure uh, in terms of, uh, you know, where they should definitely be in the top three of the maps if they have things set up properly. Uh, not, not definitely, but very likely. Okay, now it depends. Again, there, there's like where I'm searching from matters. As you can see in the I search from in from searching kind of in North Dallas, I actually get a different maps results. Some of them are going to be similar and some of them are going to be uh, or some of them are going to be the same and some of them are going to be di different. Uh, but I've some I've diagnosed this pretty quickly. I mean, I've you know that took about two minutes to to really go through that and understand what was going on. We looked at let's scroll up here. We looked at the at the rankings. We could save and export that. We looked at the on page. Really, we, you know, we looked at the domain name. They have peer, which is re related to foundation repair. But actually, if their domain name was peerkingfoundationrepair.com or Pure King Foundations. Um, it's going to give them a lot more oomph, um, and it, 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 without even changing their 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 brand name, 
Uh, we're not really looking at their URLs in their, or their interlinking because they don't have a lot of inner page. They do have some here, so you know what they have there, it, it doesn't matter. But for a local site, I'm not going to look too deep. But we did look at their off page and we looked at their maps. And so, uh, again, it took like two or three minutes to, to really get all that done and to really get a pretty good idea of what's going on here. Now, some websites require quite a bit more research to know for sure. Uh, especially like big national sites or sometimes there's more complicated situations going on. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you want the script that I've shown in this video, put a comment below and I will uh, I'll get it to you so that you can analyze the stuff a little bit quicker. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And please like uh, this video or, and subscribe if you liked it. Uh, bye.